Here we are at the Zoom Room in Hollywood for the West Hollywood Pug Get Together. I gotta tell you, when you get a group of pugs together, there's nothing funnier, nothing more enjoyable, and nothing is crazy. So I want you to watch carefully. We're gonna interview a bunch of these pug people. I always love pugs. They look like they chase park cars. Most phenomenal dog in the world. I once did a piece on a Letterman show called Mugs of America. I brought every breed of dog with a pushed in face. The more pushed in, the more I like them. The only difficulty with them is if you try to go to sleep at night, sometimes they snore. But other than that, Pug may be the right dog for you. Take a look at some of these guys. Not everybody wants your kisses. My question to you is, could you possibly go to sleep without that noise? Not at all. So it's, it's, it's relaxing it's, to you. It's soothing. If it's not there, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I can't go to sleep then. <laughs> what, about, what about meeting people? You know, there are certain people that walk down the street and you see a dog. I know that when you see a pug is one of the breeds, or a bulldog is another one of those breeds, you have to stop. You have to talk to the people. Oh, Do they find that? Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. I always say my dog's a ladies' man. A ladies' man? <laughs> He's a ladies' man. I always tell people that if I was a smart guy, I'd bring cute pugs to single people and let them just walk around the neighborhood. So this one's yours? This No, this one's mine. This, this is, is the mama. What's this one's name? Lucy. This is Lucy. Hi, Luce. Hi, Luce. <laughs> and that was? That's Buster. Buster just Captain, he's right over hey, there. Captain. Captain. Captain, what are you doing? Cap, what are you doing? <laughs> you want to say something, Cap? You want, you want to say something? <laughs> uh, well, good luck, though. You're always going to have pugs. Always. It's like an addiction, right? Yes. It's like a candy chip. You it's can't right. have one pug. Never All right. Well, bye, Lucy. We'll speak to you later. <laughs> Which of these are everyone? These are just like a mixed group. This is a mixed group over here. What made you guys decide on pups? Why, you know, every breed of dog, every mixed breed, pedigree dog, you look at this face and you just say, "Wow, what a handsome dog!" Yes. That's yes. exactly what did it. Uh, well, I uh, I pug sat for my best friend. Did you do a pug sit? I pug sat uh, for two pugs, and that did it for me. I had big dogs my whole life, and uh, I'm I'm a big dog person. And then I pug sat for these two dogs, and that was it. Well, you know, a pug is like a big dog dressed in a it little is. dog it suit. Is. You know, it's, it's multum and part. Now we know that pugs make kind of a funny noise when they go to sleep. They do. You know, like. Mine's not too bad, though. Mine's but, not but too bad. But did you go to sleep without that? No, it's the cuddling. It's the one. Yeah. It's the sound too. Do you spoon I mean, with your pug? I do. Uh, see, everyone admits it. I do. Listen, you got, I do it I all have the time. To, I, it's you know, and then when I go on vacation, and don't have him there. It's. It's sad. Do you call them? I call my dogs when I'm away. Yeah. You say hello. Yeah, you, you on the answering machine. Oh, absolutely. You can't go away without no, I can't. Does he make you feel guilty? He does. He's no, very good at that. How would you get guilty? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right, exactly. Exactly, because they make you feel so guilty. That was, what was his name again? No, Jack. 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 Yeah, Jack. He's right. He's black. He's right here. Oh, this is Jack. Hi, Jack. A lot of people don't realize that the black was the first. Yeah. The original. Yeah, I know. And I what, know. what were they used for again in China? Um, they were actually guard dogs. They they actually um, would guard the monasteries. And I guess uh, the monasteries weren't being attacked uh, by right. too aggressive well, it's, people. It's more, it's more like uh, <laughs> like, uh, like the lost like the lost the exactly, exactly. They would alarm them if something was happening. Who's this? Who's the, who do I have? Anyone know who I have here? Who's our Lulu? Hi, Lulu. How old is Lulu? Now we were talking before. How many pugs do you have? Three. You have two adults and the baby. Yes. What made you decide on pugs? Oh, well, my mom decided she could take care of her. Oh, the baby! Hey. They know they're being photographed. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look at the boy! Look at the boy! Look at the boy! Good 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 boy
Okay, so we're full of pubs here at the Zoom Room in Hollywood. Tell me about your ability and your experience training pubs. They're very food motivated. Oh, we're just talking about that. If you give them a hot dog, they're like rent and tin. Take that hot dog away, they turn into Cujo. Yeah, pretty much. Really food oriented. What about? What about? Do they enjoy working though? Once they realize that at the end of the road, there's some kind of treat. Yeah, I think they're really they're really pleasant to work with, and they're really very good tempered. The only thing is they gen they don't have a lot of stamina, so sometimes you kind of have to pace pace their if they're doing agility, you kind of have to pace it out. So uh, well, we didn't actually expect getting a pug, but um, we. What, did you just walk into the house one day? And say, there was a pug. We were looking for dogs, um, and uh, I had seen her, and she was just loving dog. Um, was it the pushing face? Come on now. It was the eyes. The eyes. The eyes. The eyes are the to the they, yeah, they uh, can manipulate. Now, one thing I found over the years, now having trained over forty thousand different dogs, one thing I found over the years that there are certain people that become addicted to a breed of dog. Now, do you think that you're going to have to go through rehab or you're going to have pugs for the rest of your life? Oh, there'll be another one. There'll I'm be sure. another pug. After this. There has to be you a look great? Uh, he's already looking at getting a little black pug. Is this a mutual decision to get the first pug? No. no. She, she called, crawled into his lap with a little chew toy and, and that was it, it was okay. done. Yeah. Over and done. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sold. Pug addiction. It's all about pug addiction, Come right? Come on. Hey, have fun. Come on. Thank you. I haven't talked to you yet. What? How many folks do you have? Just one. I have oh, a beginner. A beginner. You know, they like potato chips. You got to have more than one. Fostered, I fostered several. Uh, you really? Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, once once you are lulled to sleep by the uh, wave machine that's a pug, you know. It's you know, it's interesting. I have a, I do a lot of work with Pug Nation. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with them? Yeah. It's a great group of people. They're actually, uh, I'm having a big event at LA for Memorial Park um, for the radio show on October 2nd. We have 20 different rescues there, and they're going to be one of the groups there. They got some great dogs for adoption. Yeah. So you got your dog from where now? It was adopted. Uh, adopted from Portland, Portland, Oregon. Portland, so. Oregon. Oh, so it's a laid-back dog. Really. Now, what about you? Will always have pups at this point? Uh, definitely. I travel. Uh, I took mine to Italy for three months. Uh, they they travel great. They're uh, you know they're they're made to be companions, and when they're not with people, they're uh, lost. And they hate to have their feet on the ground, don't they? Well, what's your dog's name? Isabel. Fox. Where is Isabel? Oh, Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Hi, you. Hi, Isabel. Hi. Hi, you guys. How old is Isabel? Five years old. And how long have you had her? Uh, since she was eight weeks old. Since she was eight. Hi, Isabel. Hi. Do you think that that pugs recognize other pugs? Definitely. She watches television incessantly, and uh, when another another pug comes on the screen or another another dog, she goes up and licks at it. And, and uh, Hi, uh, what, 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 what are you doing? Huh? Whoa! Oh, yeah. I was just up at the Humane Society. Had a fundraiser. They had a pug kissing booth. Pugs kissing other pugs? No, pugs oh, kissing humans. It's like, you know, donate a buck, get a kiss. Yeah. They made a fortune. Yeah. And they had Miss Arizona alongside. No one went over to her. That's they all went over to the pugs. <laughs> Talk about ego, right? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am in my element, man. I'm covered with dog hair. I smell like a pug. It's like a perfect day for me. 
and you know what? My dogs aren't with me. My dogs are like 500 miles away. So this is like Nirvana for me today. Getting my dog from. And quite honestly, come on. Take a look at the faces on these dogs. It's not the face only a mother can love, okay? It's the people that have these dogs. They're absolutely the most gorgeous dogs in the world. I agree with them, but some people might say, let me put it this way. The pug is proof that God has a sense of humor. Hey guys, who wants to play? Who wants to play? Do you want to play? Do you want to play? No one wants to play. Come on, guys. Come on. 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 Pugs are not stupid. Huh? Pugs are not stupid. No, he knows. She knows. Why jump when I can walk around? And then he come. Oh, here you go. Now you're my buddy. Oh, yeah. Now you're my buddy. Now you're my buddy. You got something in my hand? Can you stay? Ah, can you stay? <laughs> okay, come I just absolutely adore them. And for those people that are thinking about dogs, let's say you want a pug. Yes, you can go to a pug breeder, but literally, there are hundreds, thousands of pugs right now that are up for adoption that need homes. So if you're thinking about a purebred dog, remember, 25% of all dogs at shelters and humane societies are purebred dogs. And if you want a pug, go to Pug Rescue and adopt a dog. Save its life, it'll pay you back every day for the rest of the day. would stay here for hours, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's like being, it's like being in a Ziggy comic, isn't it? Hi, sweetie. You know, sometimes I just walk down the street, I'll see a cute pug, I'll bend down and kiss it, never say a word to the person walking at it, and I wonder what that person thinks. Who's this crazy guy that kissed my dog and never said a word to me? Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Hi. This is my new buddy. Can I have him? Just spent some time surrounded by a bunch of pugs. To some people, they may think it's crazy. To some people, they may think it's psychotic. To me, it's Nirvana. I've never felt this good. And if you notice, all these pugs were getting along just fine. But quite honestly, I've never seen so many pushed in faces in my life. It's just so kissable. Again, I can only say one word, pug-alicious.